Welcome back and now let's take you uh, to yet another uh, exclusive news break on Times Now in terms of how polarized the debate has been on one single issue, the controversy over Hindu terror groups and the alleged role of these so-called Hindu terror groups has been a running battle between the BJP and the Congress. The issue in essence is simple. The Congress government claims its investigation primarily carried out during UPA 2 when P. Chidambaram was Home Minister led them to the conclusion that various groups with links to RSS volume, had a role in four key terror attacks between two 2007 2008 in recent days some of the key witnesses in these cases have retracted their testimonies throwing the case open once again tonight times now accesses a secret annexure to a document circulated during a meeting of the home ministry in 2007 the secret annexure not just gives the names of various pakistan based groups as those responsible for the attack but also names of their Pakistani and Indian handlers. We've got Prema Sri Devi joining us live on that story. Explain to us, Prema, the significance of this annexure that you have accessed. Prema, this annexure that you have accessed, what does it contain? Explain this to us and also what is its significance? What does it go to show? Well, if you see, this is a secret annexure. This is a secret annexure of a meeting that was held in October 2007 in the Ministry of Home Affairs. And this secret annexure basically talks about 12 terror attacks that rocked the nation between 2005 and 2007. And it talks about various terror attacks, the number of people killed and also terror groups who, who carried out these terror attacks. And what is very important is when you actually go through this document, you will also get to know this, uh, uh, the details of the so-called Hindu terror attacks also. But strangely, if you actually go through this document, you will find that most of the Hindu terror cases, which this MHNO talks about, uh, is carried out, uh, they say that these Hindu terror attacks are carried out by either Pakistan or POK based terror groups. Now, what is very interesting is to see that what late, what happened later, because when the NIA took up these cases and when the chart sheets were filed, suddenly all these cases in which the MHA basically says that LET or the JEM or the HUJI is involved in these cases, all these cases suddenly becomes Hindu terror cases. Now, let's see the stark contrast of what happened prior to 2007 and post 2007 if you see this is the secret annexure here we are actually looking at the malegao blast the date is 8 9 2006 now this mha note says according to the it says nine persons have been arrested in this case and four others are absconding according to the confessions the accused persons belong to simi a banned organization the accused therefore conspired to take revenge from the police government and the other community and decided to get weapons from abroad and it also says two accused persons namely Shabir Masiullah and Sheikh Mohammed Ali Alam Sheikh had been to Pakistan for weapons training in 2006. So this is what is said regarding the Malegao terror attack of 2006. Now let's see what happened later. When the NIA filed its chart sheet, look at the NIA's chart sheet. The NIA's chart sheet first says, details of chart sheet, it mentions 13 people and it says, that these are the 13 people, Nurul, Huda, Samsudaha, Shabir Ahmed, Riz Ahmed and all these people, it says, they have been chart sheeted by the ATS Mumbai and then here they say, the National Investigation Agency has chart sheeted four people. And who are these four people? Okay. Manohar Narwaria, Rajendra Chaudhary, Dhan Singh, Lokesh Sharma. Now, if you see the MHA note earlier spoke about Pakistan-based groups. It also spoke about how these people were getting tra terror training from Pakistan. But the NIA's investigation has another story. It says, Rajendra Chaudhary, Manohar Narwaria had entered into criminal conspiracy to commit terrorist acts with an intention to strike terror in the minds of people. They were making preparatory acts to commit terrorist acts by arranging and imparting training in arms and assembling making of bombs. Um, and then they go on to talk about how these people actually carried out the attacks. And then they say all the four arrested accused persons were taken to Bagli, where they identified the place of training camp in which the assembling of IED bomb was demonstrated. Now, 
Okay, Our Prima, let's just basically... take this one by one. Yeah. Okay, just stay with me because I also want to get an executive editor, Navika Kumar, on this. Uh, you know, before we talk about what actually happened to the contents of that annexure, can you build the big picture for us, Navika? Because it seems, when you look at this note, that up till 2007, it was clear which direction the investigation into these terror cases was going. What suddenly changed? How did the this saffron terror get introduced into the narrative all of a sudden? Well, it's very clear the political, uh, uh, you know, plan and uh, strategy of the Congress-led UPA government at that point in time uh, is something that could have uh, only changed the narrative at uh, uh, the given point in time. Up to 2007, till uh, Shivraj Patil was the Home Minister, all details uh, with the NIA, with the, the uh, uh, entire investigating agencies who were looking at the uh, Maligao blast, the Samjhota Express blast or the Ajmer blast, uh, everybody was looking at a, a terror angle which involved Pakistanis. But it's after 2007 where the political strategy clearly is something that could have come in, that could have changed the plot because remember 2008, mm. the, even the Congress was not very confident about uh, the 2009 elections. Uh, uh, already in 2007, uh, Narendra Modi had won his elections uh, in Gujarat and once again become the chief minister. His persona was uh, improving and uh, clearly, uh, you know, the okay. BJP was becoming a big uh, opponent at that point in time. Was that the reason the entire narrative changed? That's uh, the entire issue on which uh, the political uh, strategy of Congress could have depended.